Hey guys, me Tyke Amcat. Today, I'm going to be playing Max Payne. So, it's a new game. First level. Let's bring the pain. Max Payne. Also, bring in the cutscene. Yeah. Standby 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. His face was cheesing. Get on that roof. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. So are we actually playing now? Yeah, we are. We are here. And look at that jacket. What the hell? What? What? what what's happening? Is there something? Are you talking about why your house is a complete mess? You should fix that one. Oh, it's like a needle. Hmm. I got a hot stove. That whoosh. I touched her. Whoosh. Okay. And the phone's ringing. Hello, phone. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Ain't nobody gonna help you. Nah. We got some blood right there, dude. Mm. So nice. Mm. Hey. Hey. Here. I can turn on the TV. On and off. 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 Here, fire. And turn on the slam. That picture don't. Okay. Michelle! 
What is going on? It's coming. Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! Coming. I don't play. No, 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 please God, no. Dang, that guy's baby died. Okay. Hey. Get your thing. I shouldn't turn that off. Well, you guys are gonna have to deal with it. If anything, it's free advertising. No. If he has a YouTube channel. Oh, I wonder. Ah, whatever. Oh, wait. Am I touching something? I'm touching something, because it's not letting me press someone else. Oh. Oh! 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 That scared me. I didn't know what else was happening. No, oh. no, no, God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. That voice acting though. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Now we gotta go in the screen so we continue the chapter of Max Payne. I'm with Max Payne. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. Point-blank shot to the face. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Jesus. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Yes, we're going to go for the man, Alex. The gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off. You gotta narrate like everything I say, huh? Yeah. You get it. You're like narrating. And now I copy. No, I'm trying. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I can actually go outside. I don't want that. Personnel. Of course, there's blood and bullet holes, and at least that door. See, a normal human being would go. I'm leaving. That's what a normal human being would do. But ah, Max Payne's gonna go up in there. He's gonna go wolf and tail. Well, I guess that's the end of this episode of Max Pain. Bringing you the pain. Oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye train.